This changes everything. I'm serious. No hyperbole. 100%. This changes everything. Internal combustion engines are dead. The ice age is I'm serious, it's absolutely over. Just tell your friends about this video. You need to tell them because the game has just been changed. And I mean, I was changed a week ago by CATL. They've just changed it again. This is the world's largest battery company. This technology will probably kill many, many companies, but it's gonna make your life a whole lot better. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. Don't get me wrong, I don't want companies to go bankrupt as a result of their technology, of Chinese technology, but I'm just a realist and it's going to happen. So what exactly am I going on about? Well, CATL last week announced their new special super batteries, right? And it's not just super because it's um, got incredible energy density, structural battery packs, has two different versions, LFP version, a ternary version, amazing energy density at the pack level as well as the cell level. I mean, and we're talking the world's biggest battery company here who makes batteries very affordably. That all changed the game. But now this just makes things, I mean, if this is, I was about to say if this is true, but it is true because it's CATL and they don't lie. They've never been known to lie. They don't exaggerate. And um, their new battery will charge to 80% in five minutes. Now, their recent battery last week they just talked about, that one will charge to 80% in 10 minutes. That's going to be a ubiquitous battery. That battery clearly is going into Tesla vehicles. There's no need for me to tell you that. You already know that. It's obvious that that's what's going to happen. Tesla is CATL's by far their biggest partner. I mean, they make, they're manufacturing a battery factory down the road from Tesla's factory Literally, it's 2.5 kilometers away. That can manufacture 70 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. 70 gigawatt hours. I don't need to tell you how many cars it is. I'm sure you already know from watching this channel. It's a lot of cars, right? Now, imagine that those battery packs could charge in 10 minutes. Well, imagine in, say, 12 months time when this new battery tech that CATL has coming will enable Tesla vehicles and other any other vehicles with this tech to charge to 80% in five minutes, five minutes. When that happens, I'm talking game over. You know, we're all saying, we're sitting here and thinking, oh, you know, it's gonna be maybe five years away before <clears throat> the battery, the whole electric car revolution takes over and we, you know, the whole, it, it's all over. Internal combustion engines are just like Nokia phone, Nokia 3310s and no, literally no one wants them. It happened very quickly with mobile phones. Not as, it took longer with digital cameras, but with mobile phones, it was very, very quick. But once this technology comes out on mass, and I can bet you now that, that CATL and Tesla, are, they already have worked out when this technology is gonna be in their cars. There'll be a roadmap for it already. So the 10 minute battery, I'm sure that'll be first. That's gonna be apparently in Q1 of next year. Right, this new technology, I'm gonna guess that maybe version 2.0 it's coming in 12 it's on CATL's website right now so I'm not like making this up it's not hype it's not um, rumors it's on their website I'll put a link in the description below you can check it out so I'm going to guess that this is version 2 of that battery of the same battery and it's going to be maybe 6 to 12 months away when that does happen right and your friend your mates at your parties or whatever like the idiots I've been talking to tonight no seriously there were some good guys there there was a couple of Muppets but mostly good guys but there's you know there's always people here there's always people on social media saying oh but you it's it, the problem they say this is how they start oh but the problem with electric cars is and i just roll my eyes and i think you are a moron come on mate if you're going to claim do you know something just do some research do some research and stop being a pessimist <laughs> electric cars are the solution they're not the problem but anyway you can fire right back at them you know what it takes five minutes to charge my car right that's the same amount of time that it takes you to fill up your your gas guzzler, you know what petrol, gas, diesel costs right now? Yeah, you know how you much electricity costs, you know how much money I'm saving over you, you idiot? That's what you can say, right? And it takes five minutes to charge. But what about the fact that 98% of the time I don't need to do that? I can charge from my solar. I can charge at home. I don't need to go to a, find a gas station, pay whatever exorbitant price they're advertising. This absolutely changes the game because it changes the entire narrative about cars. Now, the other reason this changes the game is because these batteries have such high energy density in both LFP and non-LFP versions. In my view, the non-LFP, the ternary batteries are great for luxury cars, but they're not really that relevant. The, the, the lithium ion phosphate batteries having such a high energy density, that's so relevant to you and me because, right? It's so relevant because that's the every man's car. That, that's the affordable car. That's the car where you say logic. Head over heart, right? Head over heart. Because which car do you want? The the one with 10% less range, but you can charge it to 100% without getting battery degradation. The one where it gets three times as many charges, right? 
that maybe the range is 10% lower even after that. 10%. Which one do you want? I mean, seriously, the LFP version is going to cost so much less. It already does. Tesla's already sell them much less. More than 50% of all Tesla vehicles come with LFP batteries. By the way, where are those batteries from? Where are those batteries from that go in the standard model cars? Model Y, Model 3, CATL. So who do you think is going to get these new batteries? Like some new mystery company that's paying the CATL, what, you know, 50 million? Or from Tesla, right? Who is by far, by far their biggest partner. Right, of course, this technology is going to go in Tesla vehicles. That's going to mean, like I've said many times, the battery packs will be able to be much smaller, meaning either, well, Tesla makes a boatload more money or they bring the cost of the cars down, one or the other. Eventually, eventually, Tesla will have cars available that, you know, are not, not seen as being too expensive by a lot of people. That's what will happen eventually. They'll be able, they could do that. They could literally do that now. They're making 40% margin on their, on their cars from China. Clearly they are because they're making a loss on their cars from the US and their gross profit margins are 30%, right? So this absolutely changes the game because the other thing is, right, the haters still say the problem is charging. Five minutes to charge to 80% and this completely changes perception. There's no difference in terms of charging time. There's no difference in terms of charging time versus petrol or diesel car, none. The, the time is exactly the same, but there is a big difference. The big difference is you hardly need to do it. Only if you're going on a road trip or you're driving more than 500 kilometers, but then that's gonna change. That's gonna change too, because this energy density news means the range will get longer and longer and longer. And you can say to those guys, well, you know what? If you want the long range version, pay an extra 10 grand. You're going to get a thousand kilometers of range charge in five minutes. Amazing. What a world we live in. This is just so exciting because everyone thought this would happen, right? Anyone with a brain thought this would happen. Toyota doesn't. Toyota is still in denial. They're still in denial. Can you believe that? Honda is still in denial. I mean, Toyota more than anyone else, but can you believe these guys? They're still in denial. They still think that we're going to buy internal combustion engines from them in 2045, even though the CEO of the biggest oil company on the planet said that all cars will be electric in 2040. Toyota doesn't agree with them, obviously. I can't believe they're in denial. But anyway, CATL are not the only ones. Xpeng, they're in on the game as well. Talks of super fast charging technology at Xpeng have come from their CEO, whose name I can't pronounce, so I won't bother. He said on Weibo on the 14th of June that the company will start putting a new generation of superchargers into service later this year. He's saying, right, that with their chargers they're putting in now, building out now, not in the future, but right now, vehicles will get 200 kilometers added to the battery in only five minutes. The battery can be charged from 10% to 80% in 12 minutes. Now that's with current x -Pung cars on sale now. 10 to 80% in 12 minutes. Battery charge, 200 kilometers of range in five minutes. I mean, this is this quarter of this year. I mean, wow. I mean, you know, this is incredible. We're not talking CATLs one in a year from now, but the thing is CATLs, they've, they're saying, 10 to 80% in 10 minutes. They're saying, we'll one-up you, x -Pung. This whole one-up game is going to keep on going and going and going. These guys are battling each other tooth and nail, and it's forcing them to innovate. It's forcing them to make better products. And you know what's going to happen? It's going to force them to make them cheaper, make them more affordable. And what's going to happen, right, is electric cars will take over the industry globally much quicker than what anyone predicted. Because this, these technological innovations are happening much quicker than what well, I wouldn't say anyone, because I know there's a couple of you watching that predicted this. A couple of you were like, no, 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 come on, Viking, you got to be more aggressive. You were right. You were right. The CEO of X-Pump. We will complete the layout of the new supercharging stations in the country's major highways and along their routes as soon as possible. In the near future, the experience of using electric vehicles will be disrupted, whether for holiday travel or long distance trips. It is the future. It is here now, CNF Post says that when CATL's five minute recharge to 80% technology is mass produced, as it inevitably will be, the EV experience will undoubtedly see a further leap forward, meaning that the recharge time for such vehicles will not be much different from refueling an internal combustion engine vehicle. Now remember, the new battery breakthroughs at CATL will allow volume utilization to exceed 72%, making it the most integrated battery in the world, giving it a higher energy density at the pack level by 13% than Tesla's 4680 battery packs. That, my friends, is innovation. The world is an amazing place. You know what? 10 years, 20 years time, 
the world will be so much better for all this technology and our kids will just have a better place to live in. And that's what I love about it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.